Hello and welcome to another episode. Today we're talking NBA talk again with Anthony and Abraham back on the show. Welcome up, guys. Everybody. All right, so on this episode, we're going to talk about the biggest disappointments in the NBA season this year. So there was a lot of surprises. So guys, we're going to talk about the biggest disappointments this year for you as a fan. Anthony, we'll start with you. What do you think? Um, I got a few. Um, definitely how Miami just let D-Wade go. Mm. That's a big one for me. That was a big one. You know, mm. franchise player, just kind of just whatever, just let him go to Chicago. Because mm. um, you you were a Miami fan, right? A LeBron fan, but definitely more follow. LeBron. More LeBron. LeBron, 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 LeBron. LeBron. But, I de- but I definitely like D-Wade, relax mm. yourself. I definitely like D-Wade. Okay. And I think they did him wrong. You know, they wouldn't have done that to Kobe in LA. Right. You know, why you do it to D-Wade. If it wasn't for D Wade, they would have never won them rings with Shaq or LeBron. Nah, that's true. You know, so you can't do that to your he star really franchise. Out Miami for yeah, like he years. Did, he did. That's what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So you can't do that. Um, you know, he's not. He's not. His temperament obviously has a lot of negativity around him. Mm-hmm. But how Sacramento just basically blew up the team. Gave Boogie Cousins to the Pelicans for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, that was crazy. That was a big that was d- huge. surprise. Mm-hmm. Huge. And if if you're a Sacramento fan. Right? Oh, like, that, can you imagine that? I thought it was hard being a Knicks fan. You, mm-hmm. you know? You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to know what Sacramento fans feel like. I don't even like. know what that's like. I, they may just become Clipper fans now. It, exactly. I, I mean, you know, I don't, yeah, that was tough. That was a big surprise. Um, And uh, you, you're going to talk more about this, but just kind of how the Knicks have handled the whole Porzingis and where the franchise is going. But yeah, right. I would say those are my biggest A lot of disappointments there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abraham, what do you think? Disappointments? It's been a couple. It's been a couple of disappointments, but I was saying the the main one that I have gripes with is the Lakers, man. I had so many, so such huge hopes for the Lakers this year. You know, they had a new coach, Lou Walter right. coming in, and they had that new rookie coming in, Ingram and stuff. You know, like yeah. and you know, D'Angelo matured a little bit. And, you he know, he had a better season. He had a better season. He had a better season. He really did. I was expecting them at least be a 500 part team. I wasn't expecting mm-hmm. great things, but I would have never expected them to be like like the third West. Third worst team in the league. Third worst? Yeah, the only thing I'm looking forward to right now with them sucking so much um, is that they've got a good draft pick this year, you know? But, um, and I guess another disappointment was Ben Simmons getting hurt. Yeah. Got really looking forward to seeing him play this year. The and Sixers. And see what he could shot in the NBA. The Sixers got a good team, but mm-hmm. their main players are hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of disappointments. Me, I'm a big fan, uh, big fan of the Knicks. You guys all know that. You know, they added Derrick Rose. They added Noah. A lot of Knicks fans thought this would be the year they make the playoffs. I can't believe you said Noah, but go ahead. Well, you know, he, I, I was that, thinking maybe maybe he could come back. The biggest disappointing $72 million in the world. I think that was the yeah. worst signing in mm-hmm. the Knicks history. I, oh, really? I think they've been around for, what, 70 years? Something like that? Whatever. I think that had to be the worst signing in Knicks history. And now yeah. Derrick mm-hmm. Rose is hurt. And who knows if he's gonna be back next year? I don't think they're gonna bring him back. No, and I, and I think uh, that was the end of his contract. Yeah. So he better not try to get like a hundred million dollars or something like that, because that would be insane. And will Melo be back next year? I don't even think. Like, and they're trying to trade Melo. There were just so many disappointments with this season with the Knicks. Number one, Phil's out of control. You know, taking shots at his own players. Then Jennings leaving, and then he's taking shots at the Knicks too from the Wizards. Did you guys hear about that? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, he's talking smack nah. about the Knicks. He, he got himself traded from New York, uh, went to the move. Wizards, yeah, yeah. and then started talking smack about the Knicks. Small and then move. Port Mello. Port Mello's just trying to win games. And then everybody just talking bad about Mello. I don't, bad for Mello. I don't know. There's just, just mm-hmm. too many things. Just I think Mello did it to himself. But for sure, Phil, Phil needs to go back to the West Coast. Mello's exactly. Mello. He, he's, he's destroying that franchise. He's just not helping the Knicks at all. I honestly at didn't. All. I didn't think anybody could do a worse job than Isaiah Thomas. When Isaiah Thomas had right. it, Phil Jackson don't beat him. Yeah, because I don't think Phil cares. No. I really don't think so. Another disappointment, I thought Porzingis was going to have a better year. You know, people, I think they put too much pressure on Porzingis. They were saying he would, he was going to be the next Dirk Nowitzki. I really don't see that in Porzingis. I think he's going to be a good player, but is he going to be a main player, a go-to player, one of the greatest of all time? At this point, I don't see it. I don't think he's strong enough, and he's a little bit injury prone. I'm gonna disagree with you, and I don't even like the Knicks. I think the kid is amazing. I think that he's set up to fail. You can't have your seven footer touch the ball with five seconds left at the top of the three point line. That's I see what you're saying. That's see- and and the games that I have watched in this year, I probably watched more of these games than I have in years. 
Every time I see that poor dude get the ball, it's in a miserable situation. Right. Looking for your seven footer to bail you out from the three point line. But who is that best shooter, ironically? Yeah, I don't even know. But I, the thing is, they're missing a good point guard to set up the best, the good players on that team. What I'm seeing is that I'm seeing him shoot too many three pointers. Mm -hmm. He's like seven foot four. Yeah. He should switch it up more. I understand maybe it's a three pointer a here and there. But like switch it up, go down and post, you know? Use his, his athleticism, use his height in the post to get more easy baskets. So a lot of disappointments this year. For sure, a lot. A lot. A lot. All right, so that's it for this episode. A lot of disappointments, a lot of surprises mm -hmm. this year. So stay with us. Uh, press that like button, press that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Peace.